All right, hi YouTube, uh, Clutch Trucker here. Um, I apologize, it's dark, it's nighttime. I am at a truck stop. I'm in a TA in Kingsville, uh, Ohio. Picked up a load of salt in uh, Watkins Glen, New York, earlier today. It is, uh, well, well it's now, it's, now it's Wednesday. But it was uh, Tuesday, the uh, 16th of July. Um, I'm now here at this truck stop. I've been uploading some uh, videos uh, from my dash cam uh, to the Clutch Trucker website. Um, I wanted to do, upload the videos first so I could tell you why my dash cam I think is so much better than anything you can buy in a truck stop. Because I've had everything you can buy in a truck stop and they all suck. Okay? So, um, what I use is a Rexing, and I'm sure you can't really see it because there's no light directly in front of it, so I'm gonna use my flashlight. Let's see, Rexing V1 Generation 3. This is the dash cam I currently use, okay? Um, I've been through all the dash cams. The Rand McNally's uh, suck beyond belief. I had, uh, I've had all the Garmin's and they all suck. I love Garmin as far as a GPS. Garmin, Garmin's great at GPS, but they can't make a dash cam to save their life. And the reason is, uh, they've got something wrong with their uh, circuit boards in their dash cam uh, units, either a solo dash cam or a dash cam attached to a GPS. I've had both. All right, I, I've had the uh, Garmin uh, 35 dash cam. Uh, it had a big screen, I liked it. Uh, it died after about seven months. It would just start restarting all the time. It would never then re all, all the way come up, and all it would do is just constantly try to restart. I had the new V cam, uh, which is not a trucker dash cam GPS but it was a truck it was a uh, GPS with a dash cam Nuvi cam that I got refurbished from the Garmin website uh, so I paid a lot less thank God because it only lasted about six months and it started doing the same thing restarting 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 never working uh, then I uh, was getting frustrated and so at, I had my TA points built up. I bought the uh, Rand McNally. Uh, I think it was the uh, 300. It's the gold one uh, dash cam. It lasted um, six hours. It started restarting constantly over and over and over. Brought it back, tried the 100 that they also had. It did the same thing within about a day and a half. Okay, so Randy McNally's crap. Garmin's crap. I then went upgraded all the way to the Garmin 65W that they sell at the TAs, uh, which is a tiny little dash cam. I liked how small it was. It stuck right up in the corner of my windshield. It was great. And for the six months that it lasted, I really liked it. Uh, one of the videos I posted on the uh, the website here on uh, Clutch Trucker is a time lapse of going through the Chesapeake Bay Bridge Tunnel, and I did that on the Garmin 65W. Uh, but of course, it died shortly after that. Obviously, Garmin can't make a dash cam to save their lives. I mean, they may be good for uh, residential drivers. If you're only running it a few minutes a day but those of us who are running our dash cams 24 7 we need one that freaking lasts uh, another video I have posted on here is when the United van lines backed into me in Troy Illinois at the TA truck stop I had five open spaces to my right three open spaces to my left and this moron still managed to back right into my truck and thank God I had a uh, grill guard on the front, uh, X guard, by the way, they're out of Des Moines, Iowa, 
and they mashed my grill guard in. It did not kill my hood or my truck, thank God. Uh, if I hadn't had that, he wouldn't have stopped until he hit my uh, front wheel and knocked it off. I mean, I was asleep back in the bunk. He hit me so hard, knocked me out of the bunk. Jumped out of the truck in my skivvies, which you don't want to see. I'm a fat man. You don't want to see that. Making sure he didn't take off. And he didn't. He owned up to it. And I sent the video to his company. And they bought me a new grill guard. All right. So uh, at least that's the reason I run one all the time. Even when I'm parked, my dash cam is running. Because uh, actually that's when I've had the most issues, is people trying to back into me at a truck stop. Okay, so Garmin's, I like the 65W, but it died as well. I was getting very frustrated. This was, um, okay, last year sometime, I think about November of 2018 and my Garmin died. I was up in Minnesota, and I was picking up at uh, some place that made popcorn, something like that, and I found on my uh, on the Trucker Path app, by the way, another good thing you should have, Trucker Path, P-A-T-H, you need to have that. Um, I found there was a Best Buy nearby, and usually if there's a big box store like a Best Buy, you can get a truck in to at least their parking lot or behind it. So I went in, I said, what do you got for a dash cam? I, I'm a trucker, I need something now. And he said, we have the uh, Rexing, which again, I'll pull up the box, and I have to shine the light on it. Rexing. Okay, he had the V1. This is the V1 third generation. They had the V1, 99 bucks. Cheaper than almost anything you can get in the truck stop. And it works great great little uh, dash cam the uh, video screen is angled so when you put it on, on a more vertical windshield like in a truck the video screen is right where you can see it all the time that's what you want uh, uh, most of the other stuff at like a Best Buy is like Thinkware and some others that don't have video screens I want a video screen I want to be able to see what it's seen and that's just me maybe you don't need that but for 99 bucks, I was impressed. It lasted a couple of months, and so what I did is I gave the one I originally bought at Best Buy to one of my sons, my oldest son. I gave another one, I bought another one off Amazon, gave it to my daughter, and I went for the Rexine uh, V1 Generation 3. Not that you can see right there, but... All right, Gen 3, there you go. Rexine. What the big difference is between the V1, uh, or the gener uh, Generation 1 and the Generation 3, is the Generation uh, 3 has the capability of uh, tracking your GPS, location, and speed, and it has wireless, um, not, not Bluetooth, but the other one. You know what, you know what I'm talking about. Uh, so you can transfer the videos directly to your phone. All right, that's a big plus for me. So all the videos you can see on clutchtrucker.com, minus two of them, were all done on the Rexing dash cam, okay? That's why I wanted to post the videos first, so you can see the quality. Uh, the nighttime quality on the Rexing dash cam is amazing. Okay, uh, for the V, uh, the third, third generation of the V1, was 139. They wanted 289 for that damn Garmin uh, 65W at a TA. Okay, for 139, the Rexing V1 third generation. Now you have to buy the separate GPS tracker with it, uh, which costs I think $30. Okay, so for 139 plus 30 bucks, so 140. So for $170. You get everything the Garmin 65W does, and guess what, funny thing, hey, this one works! It lasts! How about that? I've been running it non-stop. Okay, I, uh, I, I live in Wyoming, but basically, really, I live right here in the truck, okay? So that dash cam is on 24-7, non-stop, 
and it's been running since November and I haven't had a single issue with it I can download videos easily to my phone and as you can see I've posted those online uh, so Rexing from Best Buy is the way to go you can get it directly from Rexing or go on Amazon and get it that's where actually I got the V1 third generation uh, the only difference between the V1 first generation and the third generation, first generation just uses a uh, SD card, okay, and it records on the SD card. Third generation, you can transfer it to your phone wirelessly with the Wi-Fi. That's the word I was looking for earlier, okay, and um, then also the V1 first generation and the third generation, you have the option of buying the $30 GPS tracker which then puts down your location and speed and imprints it on the video so you can prove if some ass wagon cuts you off that you are only going X and such mile an hour and uh, that they were in the fault okay that's what you want like I say I leave mine right up on my dash or in my uh, uh, left corner of my driver's side windshield and you can tell by watching my videos that that's where it is. You get kind of a more of a driver's side view on my dash cam. I would like to put it up in the right corner of my driver's side windshield. However, this is a Freightliner and the way their wipers go, uh, that section doesn't get wiped. So it would be a dirty video. So I put it up in the left uh, section of my windshield. Still captures the road. The Rexing, <clears throat> very good, and not a lot of money. And if it craps out on you after a year, you pull into a damn Best Buy and you buy another one. It's not a big freaking deal. Like I say, everything you can buy at a truck stop is garbage. Don't bother. I've had the unit in. I've had the Rand McNally's. I've had the Garmin's. They all suck from the truck stop. Get yourself a Rexing from Best Buy or Amazon that's going to be your best trucker dash cam. All right. I know this video is kind of dark because it's late at night. I'm at the TA here in um, Kingsville, Ohio. But I hope that helped you out. I uh, hope you enjoyed it. Oh, and my youngest son told me, by the way, since I'm new to YouTube, that I have to say, I guess you need to subscribe. You need to hit the little bell. You need to like, whatever. I don't even know what that is. All right. But... Do it if you liked it. Have a good one. Clutch out.